we know that in Ghana, it is a sad reality that many children with cerebral palsy are denied the right to education, and this is due to the nature of their condition. And um, in the latest Joy News Hotline documentary, Born Special, Beryl and Estina Rechta tells the story of Mavis uh, Yamotioko Tete, who once experienced that situation with a son. Among the overwhelming challenges faced by this parent, they are also confronted with difficulties in accessing education for their children. Although Ghana has signed many international conventions spelling out the right to education for all children, like the Inclusive Education Policy document, which was launched in 2016 to help the country address the challenges of marginalization and exclusion of children with special needs or disabilities, not much has been achieved in addressing the educational needs of children with such disabilities. Mavis Yamotio Kotete also lives at La. Her 17-year-old son has cerebral palsy. Mavis is fortunate to have strong family support. We know that we have family drama. If Papa and Mommy want to be able to do anything, we can't do anything. We can't do anything. She shares with me a sad experience she had with the proprietress of a school she once took her son to for enrollment. A second school day there. Madame, a hell of all right. A catachy letter a chamiake. A billet, a small name, a photo number people. She about the beggar care about an ambulay school. Let me. Pe. Today, there is a glimmer of hope for Yomotioko and her son. This is because her son Herman is now in a mainstream school. It is a day school and Herman gets ready for school. With a little difficulty, he manages to comb his hair and prepare for the day. I'm Rebecca. Herman's school is only a few meters away from his house. Caleb Okai is one of the teachers here at Justice Ni Ama Olenu Memorial School, where Herman is a pupil. He is taking the class through science lessons. He describes Herman as a very intelligent and enthusiastic pupil. Herman Lupoti is second um, physically challenged student I've seen in this school. One thing I've noticed about Herman is he likes to take part in everything which goes on in the class. Sometimes you do not hear clearly what he says, but he doesn't get discouraged because of um, his, his situation. He, he tries to take part even though we do not get what, what he tries to say. With Herman, just now we were doing, we were answering some science questions and I asked him some simple questions which we, he was able to answer them. He likes um, the science, he likes the science. Herman is not only active in school, but also in church. He does not allow his condition to deter him at all. Persons with cerebral palsy are often marginalized and seen as a burden of society. But today I'm here to meet a young man here at the La Nativity Presbyterian Church called Herman. Herman is changing the narrative about children with cerebral palsy. <laughs> It is Bible study time here at the Junior Youth Wing of the La Nativity Presbyterian Church, and Herman participates effectively during the discussion. On this day, Herman is one of the members scheduled to read the scriptures in Ga to the whole congregation. 
Despite his speech defects, he manages to read. Well, beautiful story that we continue to tell uh, on cerebral palsy.